Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a three box half case break of 2019 Bowman Draft Baseball Super Jumbo Edition Random Team Break number nine from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Appreciate it. And no nationals in this, so we only sold 29 spots. Let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a three, six times. Six the hard way. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. After six times, we got Francesco all the way down to Michael Kuntz. Three and a three, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Good luck. After six times, we've got the Bronx Bombers on top down to the Friars. All right, so Francesco with the Yankees, Brian with the Red Sox, Jonathan Kent with the Phillies, EA with the Pirates, AJ with the Orioles, Randy Ramos with the Giants, Ryan Miller with the Diamondbacks, Danny, you got my Dodgers, Kenton with the Mets, Rich Schmidt with the Twins, Kenton with the Cardinals, Michael with the Blue Jays, Matthew with the Angels, EA with the Rays, Francesco with the Cubs, Rich Schmidt with the A's, Fong with the Braves, Francesco with the White Sox and the Tigers, Charles with the Marlins, Mark Matheson with the Reds, EA with the Rocks, Adam with the Indians, Jordan Cohen with the Royals, Stephen K, Last Spot Mojo, Texas Rangers, Mark with the M's, Kenton with the Brew Crew, Francesco with the Astros, and Michael Kuntz with the Friars. All right, so let's order these by column B. And there you go. Stephen Punk saying Andrew Vaughn is the guy to get out of here. Yeah, he's pretty good. A lot, a lot of those guys in the pretty much the top five, you know, are the kind of guys that you're going to be looking for out of here. All right. Let's, while you guys are thinking about trades, let's pop this Super Jumbo case open. And let's see which half we're going to do. So there's two right here, two right there. Put one of these over here and one of these up there. So we'll roll the die. I'm going to select the die first and we'll roll it. And we'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side. And it's going to be one. So we're going to do the left side right here. So this side, so we're doing break nine right now. And this side will be break 10, random team 10. So if you look right here, I marked the boxes RT10, RT10, and RT10, random team 10. I'll save on my back table right there in case we uh, end up doing it tonight. All right, so I'm going to pause the video. Right, there's the list again. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. There was a lot of trade chatter, but at the end, no trades got done. That's all right. Three box, half case, random team nine, super jumbo edition. So I'm going to to write that into the thing. Stephen K. Last Spot Mojo has the Rangers. All right. Let's put this right over here. And let's pop this open. Now, Kenton was asking, is, uh, is Batty any good for this, for the Mets? Batty? Beatty? Beatty? 
I feel like whoever gets the Mets, that's the guy they're chasing. So, so there is some recognition there. Obviously, all these guys are prospects. So you don't know what's going to happen to any of these guys. I mean, it's quite possible that the person that sells the worst out of here could be the best player out of here. You never know. Is there really talk about Stephen Punk saying, you wonder what the Cubs are going to get for Chris Bryant from the Dodgers with the trade? Are they really in... Uh, is, that con is that conversation really happening or is that just some, some kid on Twitter speculating? Steven say I think they're I think the Cubs are gonna go for the prospects with Dustin May and whoever it's the breaking news in Chicago is gonna be interesting. Well yeah, I well I feel like a trade would make more sense than than the Dodgers spending money to pick up Anthony Rendon. We'll see what happens. The, as a Dodger fan, I, what I do know is that this, this pile is getting too high. I'm getting nervous. I think, um, yeah, I think that's why Dodgers tend to pay their own guys, but they they seem to not be too too active in the in the free agent. And I guess outside of like AJ Pollock and Joe Kelly, I guess, but I don't think they're ever really in on on Bryce Harper, or Machado for that matter, even though they had him. All right, good luck. As you know, paper doesn't ship. None of the paper ships, but all of the chrome does ship. Obviously, numbered paper cards definitely will ship. I don't know if the Dodgers want to. Do the Dodgers want to give up Dustin May? I'm not sure if the Dodgers want to give up Dustin May. I mean, that's what Stephen Punk's saying. Breaking news in Chicago, saying he's going to be traded to L.A. Like, yeah, are you trying to play us? Are you trying to punk us, Stephen? There's uh, Dre Jameson to 499. Like, who's reporting this in Chicago? If it's just some kid on, like, SB Nation in Chicago, that doesn't count. <laughs> Fan sided. And what team in LA? The Angels? No, he's saying Dodgers. He's saying like Dustin May and prospects for for Chris Bryant. Uh, and that is for Stephen K. Last spot Mojo. Texans. Texans, not Texans. Rangers. He said that and he was actually on part of the Eagles. He's like, we need the Eagles. Josh Lucas is saying, Stephen, this is nowhere on Twitter. Yeah, I think we're getting punked, I guess. Doesn't sound like a crazy... Yeah, Steven, maybe Stephen Punk's reporting this. I don't think they're... Uh, I mean, that doesn't sound like a crazy... That sounds like a very Dodgers-y sort of deal, though. I think the Dodgers were also interested... We're kicking the tires on uh, Francisco Lindor, too. With possibly, like, Corey Seager plus... Maybe a Dustin May or a Gavin Lux or something like that. So, Jackson Coward at 250. And Logan Davidson. You live in Chicago and they broke the news with that? Didn't you say you go to Burbank sports cards all the time? Rich Schmidt. It's quite a commute. Rich Schmidt with the A's. He's getting a little bit older. Maybe they move him to first base.
Well, can anyone else in Chicago confirm this? I could just be the be the reporter kind of speculating that that could be a trade. Doesn't necessarily mean it'll get done. Everyone's speculation season. Everyone's speculating. You know, everyone goes, this could be the deal. This is what I heard from my sources. That's what they're saying. Whether anyone accepts or not, I guess different, different story though. Super Jump, remember folks, five autographs a box. So we've got two already. We're looking for a few more. So I think these are a box. Those are a box. At the end, there'll be 15 autos. Five times, 15 autos at the end. We'll do a re autograph recap at the end. Eric Miller to 250, purple paper. And there's Chase Trump to 250. Not to be confused with Tyler Stump. Yeah. Don't, don't confuse it, Nick. Well, I know you thought, oh boy, there's there's Tyler's brother in this product. No, wrong. I I that. TJ Sikama, 20 out of 71, Speckle. That goes to the Yankees. Francesco with the Yankees, the Bronx Bombers. There you go. Late first round pick. Looks like a, co a compensatory pick right there. Uh, I see. You come to Los Angeles once a month. Right. All right. Here is the next little stack right here. Well, I mean, it could happen. D Dustin May. It just doesn't seem like the, a move the Dodgers would make. At least with Dustin May. They have so many outfielding prospects. I think they would try to move those guys first. I don't know. I suppose anything could happen. Uh, no, we just started, Rory. This is our, these, these are the first three autos. No Super Fractor just in general yet for Jaspies. We haven't seen any yet. Someday. Someday. <laughs> Maybe in the second half. Maybe in this half. I don't know. I don't, I don't see any just glancing at the stacks here. There's Grant McRae, paper to 150, and Aaron Shunt, gold, 32 out of 50. Behind him is another Yankees autograph. That's Josh Smith, 46 out of 150. Wait, you, did you say Will Wilson got traded earlier today? Mm -hmm. To where? The Giants. Ah, interesting. For who? A PD, PTN, a baby bar. Player to be named later, gotcha. Yeah, and cash. I think the Dodgers Opening should up. move Arizbel Arabuena. Oh, Arizbel Arabuena? Yes, he's still on the team. That's my favorite Arabuena in baseball. 2013 Topps Chrome. <laughs> That's right, Chrome he was. I don't, I don't even know if he's still on the Dodgers. Yeah, he's probably not. All right, thanks, Nick, for your help. Everyone saw the action on the Nick cam above my head. You can see all the stacks still on the Nick cam there. And they dumped Cozart's contract, too. So, so Angels fans, is that is that Arenado and, and Garrett Cole money being opened up right there? John Docks to 499 paper. And we got Ryan Jensen. We have got a buddy named Ryan Jensen who's from Chicago. Francesco with the Cubs. He's a White Sox fan though. Oh, did I say Arenado? Yeah, I meant Rendo. I think I think I would prefer Arenado as well, but the Rockies locked him up. I don't know. There's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of talk about Rendon 
who doesn't necessarily want to play play baseball until he's like 40 years old. You know, there's been suggestions that like he's good at baseball, he likes playing it, but I don't think he's necessarily like he has to play it and he's going to grind it. There have been some rumors that he wants to retire by 35 or 36. So there is speculation that uh, that a short contract, years-wise, at, at a high average annual value could be a possibility for, for Rendon. Which means Dodgers could possibly be interested in something like that. All right, next stack right here. Good luck, everyone. This is uh, random team number nine, Super Jumbo, three-box Super Jumbo. Tanks is a Cub fan for life, he says. Although the Sox players are just better this year. <laughs> yeah, I think they could be a pretty surprising team. They're gonna, they could have like, a, you could blink and they'll be like, there's Tebow to 4.99. They could be like that kind of a young Bravesy sort of team in the AL. There's Brandon Malone, 283 out of 499. Refractor Auto for Ryan Miller and the Diamondbacks. Oh, Boris is, yeah. Boris is asking for seven year deals, huh? Dang. Stephen Punk says Cubs need to dump Jason Hayward. Who's going to take him, though? I guess you could. You'd have, the Cubs would probably have to eat a good chunk of that salary before anyone takes him on, I think. I don't know what kind of return you get back from Jason Hayward, though. I think you're kind of stuck with him. Did we talked to Steven Strasburg again. He got signed. Big money. Back to the Nationals, which is where I initially predicted that he would go. Now I guess, where does the Garrett Cole domino fall? Where does the Anthony Rondon domino fall? There's Tyler Baum to 250 paper for the A's. And we got Daniel Espino is your next autograph for Adam Ewald. Garrett Cole. Padres could use a Garrett Cole. Angels could, Twins could use a Garrett Cole. Brewers could use a Garrett Cole. There's Jared uh, Triolo to 499 paper. The guys on MLB Network earlier today, there's Seth Johnson for the Rays. That goes to EA in the Rays. Seems to suggest that, that Garrett Cole to the Yankees was pretty much a done deal. Sean Corbett says just let him come home. Go back to go back to the go back to Southern California. Orange County. Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Stephen Punk. Cubs would take Jock Peterson. He said we would take Jock Peterson for for uh, Jason Hayward. And how much contract are you going to eat? Sure, take Jock. We'll take we'll take Jason Hayward. He's got a good glove in the outfield. If you eat half his salary, done. I'll call Andrew Freeman right now. I said Stephen Punk and I got the deal done.
getting a whiff of this. You are in no way related to this, so I can add to this. Do you worry or think about sign stealing and sanitize technology and that stuff? Again, you have nothing to do with it as far as I'm concerned. I've heard nothing about the matter. And so I can ask you as a major league manager, you're playing all these parts, putting the big boys with the big technology. You just said that we could find out anything that cheap enough. I told him I'm sure you can get one for like 300 bucks, 400 bucks probably. So if you want to find one, he said that he left his email when I started. There's right, Will Wilson got traded. Obviously his cards will still go to the Angels in this. What was that one year? Was it a was it draft or was it just regular Bowman? There's Ethan Hankins one. Maybe it was draft. I forget what it was. But the day it came out, Eric, there's Eric Pardino to 150 and Quinn Priester, 12 out of 50 gold. I think it was the day one of these Bowman or Bowman draft products came out. Uh, the Diamondbacks traded Dansby Swanson. I think it was number one overall at the time. Because that was kind of a big deal. Because now everyone who bought the Diamondbacks were like, come on. <laughs> I feel like does not happen often with the number one overall pick, right? Gemini saying that trade was such an epic disaster. Who did they get back from that trade? Shelby Miller, maybe? There must have been... Yeah, Shelby Miller. Who? There's got to be others involved in that trade, right? I think that. Oh, an Enciarte. I want to say that that front office is no longer with us anymore. That front office is, has been canceled. I think they're out. Like a year after that. Out of 250, Antoine Kelly, Purple Chrome. And there's Brady McConnell. That goes to Jordan and the Royals. Yeah, Gemini saying they're all gone. Yeah, they're all gone. And Shelby Miller wasn't... I don't know, what happened to Shelby Miller? I think something just got in his head. He just, just forgot how to pitch. He was pretty solid, though. I mean, really, it's kind of a kind of a weird trade, but if Shelby Miller had started, had you know, become like a number two, number one pitcher or something like that, I think people would have been like, "All right, that's all right." But now we were talking about that. What what year was that when Dansby got traded? Like the day Bowman released, was it a draft or was it a bo regular Bowman? It was draft. <laughs> How brutal was that? It was like that day everyone who bought the Diamondbacks were like, come on. <laughs> I feel like some some breakers tried to like, said that they would go, that, that Dansby would go to the Braves and that just caused a lot of confusion. Because then some people bought the Braves thinking that's like, well, the other guys are giving them to the Braves. And we're like, well, we're going to go buy that logo right there, right on the card for that particular year. Let's not make it confusing. 2015 Bowman drafts this were, yeah. <laughs> Rory, what are uh, not not that the hot stove is is percolating, more than percolating, maybe a a low boil, a rolling boil. Now the hot stove is doing that. What are what are the bre Brewers going to do, Rory? Wow, Nick says the Nick says the Brewers just sucks, just straight up. Out of four ninety nine, Travis Swaggerty, that swag going to EA, and a class of nineteen autograph seventy four out of two fifty, Greg Jones, Jonesy. There you go.
go. Right, that happened to Seth Beer this year too, right, Joe and I? But Seth Beer wasn't a number one overall pick. Rory saying, you heard that uh, trading Josh Hader is a serious option. What do you get for Josh Hader? Wow. Shots fired, Nick. You see this? So I guess the Brewers are pretty good then, Rory. Is that what you're saying? Brewers need the starting pitching. That's something they definitely need. Those are facsimile autographs, by the way, which I'm breathing. There's Seth Beer right here. 91 out of 150. And there's Nick Lodolo. Nice. 9 out of 99. That must be a variation. Out of 99s, I think. Are of a different variety. Lodolo is your 7th overall pick out of TCU. A horned frog. Yeah, Mojo saying that's a variation. Confirmed. There he is. From Laverne. This guy's from Laverne, California, Jason Jaspi. Nick Lodolo of the Reds. Oh, really? That's yeah. my There you go, yeah. Right, right near where Jason and I grew up. Not a different Seth. The very same Seth Beer. Got traded. Hunter, a Hunter Bishop? Uh, I saw Adam earlier. Did he tell me what address he wanted? I think he emailed us with that, like last week. He said he emailed us? Last At least I, th I think that's what that was about. Oh, the GF sold Simon Grouse. Yeah, I grew, I, I grew up in, uh, in Upland. Sean. Laverne's like a couple cities over. Does he do Obsidian random teams too? Today, yes. Already? Yes. Yeah. Did I not upload it? Oh, it's there, yeah. It's uploaded. Out of 250, George Kirby. There you go. For the Mariners, that's going to go to Mark Matheson. Bonita High School. That's Jake Sanford. 62 out of 99. Yeah, I went to Upland High School. I remember there, there's the old classic McDonald's in Laverne, right next to the Coles. There's a great In-N-Out in Laverne. There's the old movie theater when that movie theater opened up. That was one of the nicest movie theaters in the area, Laverne. Is that Chili still there, Sean Corbett? Is Chili's there? It was pretty good. One little stack left right here. You had lunch at that very Chili's within the last year. Nice. The one in the movie theater a lot. That's a pretty good Chili's. It's a strong Chili's.
There's a great, uh, there's a great Tepon grill, like a Benihana style place. That's right there in the plaza where the, uh, with the Starbucks on the corner. That's a pretty good one. Get gas at that Shell station with the, with the car wash right next to the 7-Eleven. That's a good one. A Target right there too. What a great area. Brewer Hicklin to 4.99. Mojo looking for a Hunter Bishop. I think that's a redemption. So if you see a redemption, your chances are good. There's uh, Brandon Williamson, another Mariner for Mark Matheson. That I do. I do not know local local Fullerton law, Mojo. I don't know if Fullerton doesn't allow restaurants to have drive-throughs. I feel like I've been to Fullerton multiple times. There's got to be drive-throughs there. No, go. Yeah, Sean's like, there's definitely, yeah, I think Sean's closer to that area. Yeah, there's definitely restaurants there with drive throughs. Uh, this is Matt Gomes. This is random team number nine. Super Jumbo random team number nine. Almost done with it. We'll do a quick autograph recap in just a moment. Oh, you got the, oh, you're in this one. You got the, just get one team. You have the Angels. I don't think we saw any Angels yet. I wonder if there's there are there rumors around town, Mojo, that that that, that Fullerton doesn't have uh, that have restaurants with drive-throughs in it. Man, Fullerton Chamber of Commerce. There's a branding issue there. If you're listening, you got to get that taken care of. We got Michael Massey to 150 blue paper and. Facsimile autograph, Izzy Wilson, and our last auto, should be our last auto, is Kendall Williams. Kendall Jenner Williams going to Michael Stutz and the Blue Jays. Mojo Jojo, where, where did you hear this, uh, where did you hear this rumor? All right, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was three box, half case, random team nine, Bowman Draft Baseball, Super Jumbo Edition. Here's a quick little recap right here. Nice Nick Lodolo in there. And there's all your guys right there. We started off with Ryan Garcia. And there you have it. Uh, that was break number, random team number nine. Second half is in the store. We can knock that out tonight if you want to. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. This is Joe, and I'll break that with you next time. Bye-bye.